Let's get the video right. We're gonna hear this foolishness all day. Okay, okay, video, audio, let me know guys, how good am I? And listen, I'm gonna apologize now cause, cause I don't announce that I'm going live, but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start announcing when I'm going live. Alright, alright, 876 vlogs, what's happening bro? Julius. Westside 68, what's going on? Steve from Boston. All good in Florida. I live next to a dealership. The alarm's been going off for like weeks now, so <laughs> if you hear it, that's what it is. Uh, let's see what we got. We hanging out tonight. Questions, answers. Um. Upcoming events. I got something going on next weekend. It's down here. It's supposed to be. They say they're going to do some racing. I don't know if it's really going to happen, but we'll see what happens. Uh, 21 rounds. This is, if I get a 24, I'm keeping my 18. Frank Hoffman. Yeah, man. We can talk about that. We'll talk about that video. And I'll go in depth in my real true opinion, which I gave, but if you guys need me to go a little further into detail, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Let's see what we got. So Frank says he has a 2018 Road Glide. It's a 107 with a stage three. So mean, meaning it's a, a 124, I guess. Or he says 123-ish. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he means. But I would think that's a 124 maybe with without the heads and, you know, a bunch of uh, other stuff done. But. Um, to keep that bike and get a 24, that's the route. That's really the route. Uh, my opinion. I like the 24s, man. I like the CVOs. I even like the, the, the standard model. I really like them. They're really, they're really showing themselves. People are really starting to do stuff to them. So now you can see, you can see, uh, what's going on. The style the technology the just the overall listening to the consumer has all been stuffed into this bike guys um you can see it so you know it's coming guys it's it's coming soon um i'm trying to figure out a, a, a safe way to say this it's going to be better than the previous this this model that we have at the end of the day there's no if ands or buts there's no way around it it's going to be a overall just a better bike they figured it out they figured out how to keep these bikes cool they figured out how to make these bikes as cheap as last year's and other years models but also give you more that's what always what we were looking for the more um Yeah, so, uh, hold on guys, hold on guys, hold on for a second. All right, all right, I'm sorry. So, it's going to take over, guys. It's, 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 it's without a doubt going to take over. Most of the parts already, um, like exhaust-wise, wheels-wise, already fits. So, you can swap one over, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um... You know, the details. I don't have one to really go over the details of it. I can go and get one and borrow one, but I really don't want to do it that way. I want to give my opinion a little more so from 
me having this bike for a couple of weeks. You gotta have one of these bikes for a little bit more time than just a ride around the block. I've said that a hundred times. You can't go out and test ride a bike and then experience and be like, you know, yeah, this is this is you know the bread and butter of Harley's. It's not gonna work that way. You need a little time. You need to see the kinks. You need to see what the issues are. You need to see how this bike uh, performs. You need to see how it turns. You need how to, you need to see um, distance riding on that bike. Those are things I really think you have to see before you start going on and saying, you know, it's just uh, I, I'm ready to, to to jump from you know something that's not bad at all to something that has no aftermarket at this point. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a bad one. Uh, let's see what we got here, guys. Something. Like that. Robert Anderson said he got a bad boy cycle seat. He said he got the freedom. Hey, man, I'm doing that seat giveaway, guys. I'm doing it. I got the seats right here. I just been so lazy. Um, freedom series seats. Guys, remember this part. It's for a shorter rider or you can get the, the extended reach, which is for a tall rider. It's very slim in the, the thigh area. So if you're looking for something to get you down in the seat, that's the seat to get. Plus, the backrest is fully adjustable. It's perfect for a shorter rider, females, um, just somebody who needs, you know, a little bit, a little bit uh, vertically challenged. I'm, I'm vertically challenged too, guys. I'm vertically challenged too. But I get by. I get by. Uh, what else we got? I ask the questions. I give the answers. Um, what do I have coming for these bikes? Um, I know they're both getting something done to them. I don't know how far or what exactly. Um, the Road King, what is the Road King getting done? Um, we still got a seat to make for the Road King. We're still trying to get that in production and uh, really make it, make it a rider, aggressive rider style of a seat more than just um the long distance rider and i feel like that seat would even even be good for people who like to do those a lot of maneuvering with the bike that's the type of seat i'm trying to push for um we just got to be able to come up with a plan to really make that seat happen guys i told you this seat is based off of the um oh the venom seat already so we're just trying to you know, clean it up, make it, make it a little shorter, smaller, slimmer, and then make it plant you there so you can enjoy, enjoy the ride. Uh, what tank emblem is on Bipolar? Um, Bipolar comes with a ghosted in, they painted from Harley, a number one, and then on the tank it says Harley Davidson's um, custom paint. Yeah, custom paint. Um, very nice. Hey, one of the best paint schemes I've seen Harley come out with is still my top three um you know and and that's saying a lot because i've seen a lot and you know harley's really come 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 really tough and the other bikes are cvo's that i'm liking the color of and i'll tell you there's a maroon and silver and then there's this orange there's this the new one it, uh, i think that's a 22 it had that orange and black scheme man it's very very tough tough color to kind of compete with especially for just a um stock harley color <laughs> it's something tough uh what else we got uh steve steve from boston says i'm picking up a 24 road glide on tuesday after work congratulations uh, i have noticed that the dealership service department prices are two to roof 1k services like 450 i think it's always been that price be honest with you um it uh my first harley my street glide was a 2018 and i probably paid that is it worth it? No, you can go to any of your local guys who know what they're doing and know what to look out for. I mean, look, you're changing, you're trained, it's a three hole oil change and they're just going over little parts that they know that will come uh, loose probably in the first few uh, hundred miles and then they tighten them up and then here you go. Yeah, check your tire, check your brakes. I mean, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do to a bike that bad in the first 500 to 1,000 miles? Nothing oil change basic if you hear something squeaking you feel something loose boom that's it 
Um, so, yeah, if you don't want to go to Harley, don't. My opinion. Go to somebody who's certified, though. Uh, what's, what, do we, what else we got here? What does bipolar have coming? Bipolar, bipolar, bipolar is on chill mode right now. We've done pretty much everything. Um, I remember, I remember a guy asking me about the exhaust, and if he happens to catch this, um, this live maybe later on. The reason why I changed exhaust from the Thunder, guys, remember, I love the Thunderheader. By far, one of the the top sounds that I really like on a bike, um, and at least on a stage two bike. But the 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 I, I I'll say it again. It the blemishes the the quality is not where I would want it to be. Um, I just think that they could do better. You know, <laughs> they make a performer, um, but I think they could do better. And especially they do make a chrome version. I've I've never seen. And up close, you know, if it if it's as bad quality as the black, but the black is just like, you'll have to get it repowder coated and hope it can stand up to the heat, things like that. So, um, yeah, that's it. But that's a custom exhaust over there, guys. You got to look at that and put it on the level of your burns. Um, I really don't even know another exhaust that's on that level. Being honest, just being honest. If you're putting out big power, you have to have an exhaust that is going to allow the motor to breathe. It's almost like, you know, with race cars. Um, you have to have big header pipes, big steps, and they have to be placed in the right spots for the pipe to perform. And somebody's got to do some research to, to really, really figure that out. Um, so that's just what it is with that pipe. I'll probably try and make a video, but I would have to make that video with George so he can do a little bit more of the explaining because he had a lot of input on the design of the pipe. I don't know if he did 100%, but I know he had a big, big, um, uh, you know, say so on how the pipe is made and how he wants certain things on the pipe. Um, now, the only place that I know you can get this pipe from is through George because they are custom made. They're made to order. So it's not something that you can go and get off the shelf. And especially don't think that you'll get it in two weeks. Um, like I said, they're, they're made from scratch. You know, but, you know, they, they really look good. But one day I'll go over um, over the pipe and let you guys see it, you know. See, see, what, see what a horsepower pipe looks like, man. I know a lot of guys think they... Um, look like other pipes they look like the hpi they look like some of these other pipes but you know it's something different it's really something different uh let's see what we got t-shirt coming from mom all american it might give me 450 horsepower it might chip what's up man what's up chip hey i tell people the story that that we talked about all the time but i'm not gonna say it on here uh does bipolar have any paint blemishes and what do i do to fix it <laughs> stogie why would you do that? You know what I do. I replace the part. That's it. That's all I can do. Um, there's not many guys that can paint like this. I did get the front fender repainted, but it's a front fender. Everything else has something custom to it, like the big number one on the side there. Uh, the tank, same thing. The saddlebags, which I swapped, they have a one on it, ghosted in. So a lot of the times, man, it's just like, what are you going to do? Either you're going to live with the blemishes or you're going to replace the part. And who knows how long it would take to replace. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, have I seen the Lowrider ST fairing on the Road King? Yes, I have. Um, I, don't, I don't have a problem with it. I like it. But it reminds me of the Lowrider ST and kind of takes away from the Nacelle look, this Road King look. Just my opinion. Remember, some guys ride these bikes on the regular, on the daily um, highway bike. That's their, you know, getting miles bike. If I were doing that, I would definitely put the front fairing on there. Um, for what I do, a couple of hours, this windshield is great. Um, I want people to know it's a road king, though. I was even thinking about doing the bigger LaSalle, but eh, I don't like to take away too much from what Harley already did. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. So Black Two said, so you're saying get rid of a built 107? Hell no. <laughs> no. Um I don't I don't know how how you feel about this, but if I have a built bike, such as that one, if I have a built bike, um, there comes a time where you want to just say, you know what, I want something that's cruiser friendly, not rowdy, not loud, not as much as a built bike. Now, if you have a mild build, that's one thing, you know, that's a bike you can still cruise around, ride around, beat up on, different things like that, but I feel like when you start going deep into a bike, you got custom made parts, you're on a chain drive, everything has to be checked over constantly. Remember, those are, those are I won't even call that a performance bagger. I, I call that just basically um, a purpose built. It's purposely built for X, Y, Z, going fast in a straight line to get you from A to B very quickly. Um, yeah, it turns, it does all those other things, but it doesn't do it as well as it goes straight, straight and fast. So if you do have a built 107, keep it. If you got a stock 107, I'll say you're going to either have to build that bike to keep up with the new bikes and the technology, and maybe you don't care about keeping up, but if you do, it's time to get rid of that bike. Or if that bike is paid off and that bike is just you know, something I'm going to tinker with later, I'll go get a new one. I, I would have to go and bite the bullet. Um, look at it this way. Look at how long Harley has kept the same motor, same body style, the, the M8, uh, the Mount Rushmore look. Um, how long have they kept that before they changed it? If we go back and you look at it, okay, we'll call it, I'm going to say 17. I'm not going to go with the 15s and 16s. Yes, they look alike. They look like it but they were 103 motors. Stay with the 17 and better because the 17 and better did have the 107. So they gave it a little bit more punch. Really came to Milwaukee 8 then, right? Um, you're going to have to dump a lot of money in that bike to make it keep up with these new bikes when you can go out and just buy the new one. I know it sounds ridiculous when I say just go out and buy it. It's only I'm only saying it because you're going to keep chasing your tail to get what these new bikes already have. Yeah, that's, that's basically it, so. Um, guys do, do 124s, you know, quick bikes, reliable bikes. Nothing wrong with it. Technology is surpassing that stage because I feel like this. If a stage one can keep up and probably outrun a stage two 107 that's saying something. So imagine when they do a stage two on this new bike, what is it gonna do to the 107? It's gonna be as fast, if not faster, than the 124 and a stage three. Stage four, yeah, that's another level, but stage three, yeah, it's, it's gonna be probably faster. Um, Ray, what's up, man? Bring them locks by, man. How, you don't hold out, stop holding out. Uh, what do I think about the A1 Cycles Zip6 ventilator? Do they work? Have you tried anything like this on Bipolar? Bipolar has a Trask uh, uh, Vinted Transmission cover. I think I said it right. I haven't did the Vinted Dipstick. I've heard they're good. Uh, the A1 Cycles one is good. I've, I've heard it. Um, but I've always seen everybody at the shop runs the Trask. So sometimes that's just like, do I spend the money to experiment? No, but do I know guys who have it? Yes. Do they say it works? Yes. In the discussion. Because remember, not everybody wants to run the trash. They run like different transmission covers. So they just throw the uh, A1 Cycles dipstick in there so they don't have to change that out. Because imagine if you have, you know, all in this everything. Well, you probably want the transmission cover to be the same. Let's go. What else we got? What else we got? Stogie says, uh, a lot of people are buying the 107s and putting 131s and the 135 crate motors in it. Yes, they are. Um, I've seen it. Um, I've seen it. But those are big motors. Those are big cubic inch motors. Do you want to do that? Um, 
If I had a stage, if I had a 107, it would only be a stage two. I would leave it there, and then I would definitely do something with a 114, or just wait it out and see what I can get out of a CVO 1, 121, and you know that's that's just kind of like where I'm at with it. Um, if I'm going cross country, doing those long rides, remember this part, guys. It's not. It's not the size of the motor or anything that kills the motor. It's more along the lines of the heat, the compression, I think, that kind of like, so if you don't have any cooling, you're just riding these bikes and not, you know, doing your, your maintenance and trying to keep up with the bike, yeah, you're going to end up with an issue somewhere along the lines. You see it all the time. Um, a lot of these guys feel like, yeah, I, and, and I do run an oil cooler on that bike, on that, on bipolar, but you know, some guys feel like they can get away with it or mechanics don't even mention it to them, don't present it to them to get these oil coolers and stuff like that. And now these guys are sitting with, you know, busted head gaskets. So just get the bike built by the right person. Huh? You know, you won't have nothing to worry about. It's, it's the things that the good mechanics tell you, hey, you need to run this so the bike doesn't have any issues later on down the line. Um, Big Ray. Uh, some smothered steak tonight. Big Ray say he's got smothered steak tonight. All right, all right. Um, let's see, let's see. Time again, Rose, South Carolina. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about it. Um, that's one of the events I'm going to do this year. It's either Myrtle Beach or I'm going to go to Tampa for the Jamboree. Not sure yet. I got to see what my boys really want to do. We're all on board for Myrtle Beach right now, but you know how it goes. You get close to the date, nobody wants to take that 12-hour drive, you know, so um, we're playing it by ear. And if I do, I'm always getting an Airbnb. Guys, I will never, no more, ever again set myself up and get a hotel um, because if I'm hanging out with people, we might as well just get a house and have the bikes in the garage and everything safe and locked up versus an element or trying to leave things in the trailer and then they take the bike with the trailer and the truck. <laughs> no, let's see. I got a half stock 107 and I love it. Once they work out the bugs in the 24s, might get one. Anthony B. Good idea. Good idea. Um, I can't say it enough, man. It's not just the motor. It's not just the motor on those, 107, uh, on those one, um, 2024s. The complete package. You lift it off the kickstand, it's like wow. It's like wow. Um, do me the favor, guys, because I've, I've said this to you guys before. Check the weight on the Road King. Check the weight on the Road King, and I'll check the weight on these new bikes. The only advantage I feel like that the Road King has over the new bikes, and this is it, I'm being honest, is the aerodynamics of the bike. Weight wise, pretty close. Um, this is how I feel though. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Kenny Henney says, why doesn't George tune with the Thunder Max? That's a question for George, but I'm going to take a shot at it, okay? The Power Vision gives you so much more, you know, um, the bike starts knocking. Power Vision lets you know. Um, multiple maps, power vision all the way, um, from what I heard, reliability, power vision. That's just, I'm guessing. I'm just throwing it out there. What I've always heard and learned, um, and a lot of people all of a sudden have switched from the Thunder Max and went power vision. So imagine guys, if you're running, you know, your pump, your 93 pump fuel, um, then you want to run E85 like I do so I can switch between, switch between maps. Then let's say I want to get some crazy fuel, some airplane fuel, who knows. Then I still have another map. I can just scroll through and it sends it to the computer. Uh, yep. Hey, pre hey, no problem, man. Ray, Ray, Leesburg. Oh, um, there is the Leesburg event. You're not, you're talking about the Florida event, right, in Leesburg? I think, because I don't know if there's a Leesburg, South Carolina. I don't really know. Listen, man, I don't drive 
I'm not a big driver. I'll fly in and let's go from there. But now I'm getting more into, I did buy this trailer for that reason. You see it's taking up half my driveway. Um, so for these reasons. Now, a lot of guys, I'll get into that too. A lot of guys ask, why are you always trailer? Why do you trailer? Why are you trailer? I run a very soft compound tire on these bikes. Both bikes. I'm very soft compound tire. It has nothing to do with the reliability of these bikes. The bike can ride anywhere. I just don't feel like changing out my tire every time I make these rides, you know. Um, I could probably go through, you know, three times the amount of tires as you guys will go through on a pretty much a stock Harley hard tire. So instead of, okay, so there is a Leesburg, South Carolina. Okay. So there, that, that, that doesn't do much justice for me, especially when you're paying over $200 for a tire. Um, that you want to work. I can make the tire work wherever I'm at. It's going to hook. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the give and the push and pull. But I now I own two bikes. So when I go somewhere, I want to take both my bikes. You know, sometimes I want to ride around on this one, you know, feel the wind on my face. And sometimes I want to ride around on that one, feel that power. You know, that's just what it is. And I can keep the wind off of my face. Did I race do works? No, we never raced. Um, is there any good Harley Davidson trike builders that you can recommend? What do you mean by build? Because there's some trikes that go to the shop um, that are very nice. <clears throat> Wheels. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think he can tune with that tuner, with, the, with, with his dyno. You would probably have to put on a car dyno if I'm, if I'm going to guess. Oh, okay, Bike Fest in two weeks in Leesburg. I'll be there. I will be there. I didn't know it was in two weeks, though. Got to get, I got to get my boys together. Um, you know, they usually keep me up on the events to go to. Um, so, uh, so uh, John said, come to um, fishing in Texas, Fort Worth. Y'all chasing the bull reds? I call them redfish, bull reds. <clears throat> I had a cousin that lives uh, that lived out and man what, what what part of texas is that i can't think of it but he always would try and get me to come out and go fishing he would like let's go catch these bull reds man so <laughs> mm. i got a few more minutes guys i got a few more minutes <clears throat> kenny so Kenny just asked me, he said, have I ever thought about starting a motorcycle club uh, down in South Florida? I did. I did already. Uh, back in 2004, five, uh, started a club. Club is still around. Club is still going. I won't mention their names. If you know me, you know what club it is. Um, they have Miami, Broward, they had Palm Beach. I'm not sure if they still do. Uh, that's Tri-County right there. A lot of those guys, you know, um, on sport bikes, you know, they kind of never really. Well, you know what? Miami chapter is a Harley chapter. I did it. Um, me and a couple buddies. Funny story. We were with a, a, another, another club, man. I'm telling you, this is years ago. So 2005-ish. We were in one club and the guy had us go out. You know, we all went out and and did a, a bike wash. You know, we were doing this bike wash so we could get our, we could get our vest and we could get all these things and start trying to get in place to rent out a clubhouse. You know, we would have meetings and all this stuff. And after that, after that bike wash, he took the money and ran. Never seen him again. <laughs> Cowboy, if you out there, we looking for you. So he took the money and ran um never heard from him again he was uh, a truck driver and you guys know him tell him i'm looking for him i want my I want my cut of the money um but right after that we we decided you know we need to start our own club and we did man we got we got blessed in there um there was a lot of clubs that were in our area because we were really into sport bikes back then and it was just like hey make a decision who you want to go and ride with who you want to chill with and then after that i kind of Kind of had to get out of it. Had too much going on. I didn't really have enough time. Remember, guys, if you're trying to join an MC, 
you got to make sure you have time for the MC. And especially if they're a known good MC, you have to have the time. So um, don't do it just because it looks good. Uh, but that's what that was. Um, it was a good, hey, it was a good experience. Everybody who, if you haven't hung around in the club scene, check it out. See if it's what you like. Um, you can't own a motorcycle, in my opinion, and not be around the scene. It's just, you don't get the full effect of it. You know, yeah, sure, everybody goes to bike nights, but after that, what about Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and all these other days of the week? Well, those guys are hanging out. And you're just like, eh, I oh, wish I could bring my bike out, wipe it off. But yeah, man, take it out for yourself, guys. You should go, go and do it. Uh, we're going to King of the South this year, or AZ next year. These bikes need some action. We are definitely going to King of the South this year. That's July. We are definitely doing um, Leesburg. <clears throat> we are definitely doing either Myrtle, Myrtle Beach, or Tampa. One of the two. We're doing one of the two. <clears throat> uh, what else we got? Hey, so <clears throat> I know you've been looking for action. We're going to make it happen. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let's go. Let's let's find something real quick. Let me see if I got anything in here. I do not. Nope. Not in that one. I want to show you guys something. I. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I don't have I don't have what I'm looking for, guys. I don't have what I'm looking for, so I can't I can't uh I just got off the bike, so hold on, I'm still looking. Uh, it's not here. It's not here. All right, all right. I wanted to show you guys something. Uh anyways, if you're thinking about doing a motorcycle club. The scene, I made a video on this before, kind of uh, do your research on these clubs, do your research and see where they came from, the foundation of these clubs, what you're joining a club for. Um, most of them have particulars. Uh, if you want to go and hang out with them, you know, before you decide to prospect, remember, you're still going to have to do a little prospecting. And everybody has their own rules of prospecting. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's an interesting scene. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, always good to kind of know the ins and outs and all that stuff. You know, because remember, you get on the highway and you see these, these club guys riding. You know, they're, they're in their formation. Everything's looking good. and You might want that. Yeah, you might want it. So what else we got? <clears throat> Sydney said he's getting a toy hauler uh, to travel this year. He misses riding. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, if you look at it like through these eyes, the, the, the journey to get somewhere, for some people, they want to ride. I understand they want to feel like getting that open wind. But when we get there, when we get there, we're all on the same page. We all want to have the same fun. Just because you got there one way and I couldn't get there that same way, it shouldn't make a difference. So when people say, oh, you got a trailer queen, well, maybe. But what difference does it make when we're all in the same place? When I get there, I'm not dog tired and I got to spend a whole extra day to recuperate to get ready for the next two days of the event. When I get there, I pull the bike off, I'm ready to ride. I'm ready to hang out. That's what I always say. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. But I got my buddies. They'll, they they want to get out and ride. And we we'll always usually go to the same place. And if I'm trailering, anything ever happens, throw your bike in here. We're all good. Sometimes it's just got to be that way. Uh, let's see. What rallies in Tampa? Uh, there's a jamboree. Guess where everybody comes together and kind of like, you know, have some fun. They got a bunch of different little events. Um the uh, king of the south usually has their chapter do something around that same time 
and that's Memorial Weekend. Um, Jay Owens, I have not been to the Black Bikers Roundup. I want to get out and do those things and get out there and really see just how different um, states have events. I'm in South Florida. We got a lot of bikes, but we don't have a lot of events. South. Central and North, yeah, they, they, they have some events, but South doesn't have uh, that many events. And when I say Central, that's three hours from me. We have clubs down here. They might every now and then, you know, uh, we don't have like a, a, a spot that we all meet up. They're starting to get it together a little bit. Like for Sundays, like I said, I just came from an event, um, you know, but you got the rest of the normal crowd, you know, the, just the club scene people. And I'm not talking about motorcycles. I'm talking about because this is like a uh, a bar. So, you know, you got everybody that's down there and we I kind of want to see more of a biker type atmosphere let's see what else we got thank you and this boogie the ground pound it says is making your own exhaust a new way to go what made me go with the exhaust built do you sell them all right so <clears throat> to help my motor perform better i had to have that exhaust they don't make an exhaust that will give everything that my motor needs um a lot of these Exhaust will give you high horsepower, low torque, not the mid-range you want. So you got to kind of figure out where you can get a combination package. The only one that we've seen is getting something custom made for your particular setup. Now, that's going above and beyond. That's ahead of the game. Um, so going out and trying to run an exhaust just depending on your motor size or motor build or your builder and all those different just little things the cam the compression all those different things depends on how you get my bike had the thunder header on it yeah i felt like it would perform a little bit better if i went custom exhaust like a lot of the other guys did it did uh let's see here keep on going but that exhaust is not cheap by any means i'm not even going to tell you guys how much it costs but it's not cheap uh, Ray Smith, would you ever consider getting a toy hauler for yourself? Yes. Brother, I would have bought one if I had place to keep it. Like, I don't have much space. I have a two-car garage and maybe a four-car driveway. But that's a seven-and-a-half by 14 trailer, and it takes up, um, you know, a, a pretty good size of the driveway. You know, so getting somebody to keep it for you, paying someone, um, and even, you know, going into a storage to, 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 to put something there is kind of like, come on, man, how long am I going to be able to do that for, you know what I mean? So a toilet hauler is a good idea. I would like to be able to sleep in my trailer, not this one, but a toy hauler. Um, and those are very good ideas. So let's see what else we got. Jason Anderson says he has a road glass special just like mine, the, the Snake Venom. Yeah, man, it's a bad color, man, especially if you spice it up and put it together. I've had guys, you know, tell me, hey, I copied you. It is what it is. You put yours together the right way now. There's another color I almost chose instead of the purple accents. I won't say it out loud, but I think it would look a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, not to say that that doesn't look good. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? See a little purple on the, um, on the uh, covers and stuff, but there's one other color. I could have put it on there. It would have been badass. Yeah. Anyways, moving right along. Let's see. King of the South has some pretty cool events. Yes, they do. Because they come out in numbers. They have a big, big, big number of guys. It's almost like, you know, going to a little mini Sturgis or going to a little mini Daytona. They have that size of uh, turnout. We got so many clubs. Um, this Arizona thing that's going on right now, uh, it's probably ending now. Big turnout. Bunch of clubs. You know, that's that's the scene sometimes, you know, but you have all different types of club members and then you got everything. And sometimes it's for you. Sometimes it's not for you. <clears throat> I've never been to Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> so anything to do with Tulsa? Never been. Green and gold. OK, OK. Want to be a mind reader over there? Yeah, it was gold. He said it. Gold would have been the other color I put on bipolar. It would have been loud, though. So I felt like keeping it would have 
deep purple like that, that vibrant purple doesn't do too much. I don't have any other purple accents, but I did just put something on the other side. You guys can't see it right now. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? What have we got? Daytona this year. Mm -mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. When are you going to meet and greet in South Florida? I might do one. I might do one, but it's, it's, it can't be South has to be a little bit further north because I want the Central Florida guys to come down. And a lot of times I'm at their events anyway. Uh, I, I, I tend to roll up to their events. I've been thinking about planning a ride, um, but I just really haven't had the time, guys. I really haven't had the time to plan it and make sure I can be there and make sure nothing else comes up in my schedule. Uh, all of a sudden, I've gotten so much busier. And I'm not just talking about YouTube type stuff now. Just life makes you busy, work makes you busy, so, but all good things, all good things. Uh, I saw his, um, his CVO. I didn't see him when he picked it up. Somebody asked if I saw everything regular as um, CVO. Nice looking bike, nice looking bike, but um, I don't know much about it. Um, so, another thing, guys, because when you ask me if I'm going to an event or been to an event, I will go. Even if I don't have to bring a motorcycle, if you guys are going and you're saying, hey, it's going to be a good turnout and this is how you get around. And, you know, I need I need an itinerary before I go somewhere. I'm just like that. As soon as I get off the plane, I'm moving. You know what I mean? I either got to get a rental car and I'm going to a spot. I'm going to a spot. I'm going. I'm hanging out. I don't do the whole, oh, I'm going over here and just five hours at one spot. No, 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 no. The events there, I'm going there and I'm going to enjoy myself the whole time. I make a... I make um, a whole vacation out of these things, even if it's for a weekend. I'll take off Friday and head up and go do somebody's event and come back on Sunday. So, um, What else we got? Black Wall Street, never been. I would like to go. Um, yeah, but he has a nice bike. I know you guys probably saw his video. I just saw his video uh, like earlier today. I didn't even know he put, put the video out. Um, but I end up somebody ended up sending it to me and I and I checked it out. And I, I mean, bike looks good. Bike's gonna run pretty, pretty good. Uh gonna be a handful to ride. When you start, you know, you know, really putting power down, short wheelbase bikes, these are not bikes that average Joe is gonna throw his leg across and expect to just make it rip. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. It's dangerous. These bikes are scary fast. Nobody, nobody believes until they see it for themselves or until they, you know, get get a bike done. Man, I got big old palmettos flying around here. But yeah, they don't know until they get the bike done. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys another quick story. I, I go to the shop. I don't even know Tuesday last week. Guy comes up to me, hey, how you doing? Da 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 da. Just got my bike done. Kind of, kind of put a recipe like you have together. Um, blah 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 blah. Right. Towards the end of the conversation, he's like, um, but I want more. I'm like, you want more? You want more than that? You know, you're looking at you're looking at fast, fast, fast bikes at that point. And he walks into the office. He's like, come on, hey. I go in, he's like, George, I want 200 horsepower. George looks at me, I look at George, I said, hey, <laughs> I didn't put him up to it. He asked for 200 horsepower. George told him what he has to get or what he has to do to get 200 horsepower. And it was just like that. Now, guys, I don't know about you, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I can't just go out and just, how, let's make it happen. But if I could, most definitely, most definitely, I would. I mean, to complete a bike, you need, you need, we talked about it. You need the motor, you need the suspension, you need the look, you need some sound. Yeah, I'm talking about a nice little music setup, at least something that's better than the, the, the stock Harley sound. You need wheels. You need everything that puts this bike together to make a well-rounded bike. Bipolar has everything. No hands, is hands down has everything. I didn't miss one thing on that bike. Not one part. I mean, down to the ceramic coat. That bike has everything. Um, but, you know, 
some people want it, man. This is a, it's an addiction. You know, this, these bikes are an addiction. I'm going to come out with a video about it, and I want to tell you guys right now, um, once I explain how bad the addiction is, you're going to say, yes, I understand. And, and for instance, have you ever, you know, God forbid anybody you know, but anybody that, you know, lays down a bike, what's the first thing they ask about? How's my bike? You got an addiction. You worry about yourself first, and then how's my bike? And then let's get it home. And then by the next day or two, by that week, I guarantee those people have ordered something. You know, ordered parts. Get their bike back straight. It happens all the time. I see it all the time. I've had nine people I know in one year go down. Um, some very bad. Some just like a little bruises here and there. Bikes are fixed in months. Within there, like, like they're already there, getting that bike already done. It's crazy. That's an addiction. <laughs> so, hey. Hey, I, I, I don't know what it is about Harleys. Yeah, I've gone down on sport bikes and I'm like, eh, you know, I'm going to get it fixed. I like to ride. Um, but this Harley game, man, you put a scratch here. Oh, I'll go crazy. I got to get that fixed. It's an addiction. I'm bit by the bug. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Y'all hearing me rant, but uh, hey, I'm, I only speak the truth, fellas. I only speak the truth. Um, somebody said... 876 Vlog says, we need to hit AZ, man. I will be there next year. I, 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 I don't have a choice. Problem is, Arizona is like 30-some hours for me. It's like, it's like a day. I think it, is it 30, is it 36 or something like that? It's like, a, that's like three days of, like the four days. I, I can't make it. I can't make it unless I could get the bike shipped over there and then I fly in and I fly back out and they ship it back. I mean, that's the type of stuff I got to go through. Remember, I'm at the bottom of Florida. It's six hours to go north <clears throat> straight out of Florida. Five, eh, five and a half, call it that. Just to get out of Florida, just to get into Georgia, across the Georgia line. And now I'm not even to, you know, Atlanta. I mean, from here to Atlanta is nine hours. If I make a left and go out to Panhandle, that's seven, eight hours. I'm still in Florida. You guys know. You guys know. I was in the hospital last Saturday. I'm looking for another bike just in case an insurance company totaled my bike. You just, you, you just went down? What happened? Man, hey, prayers to you, brother. But, um, hey, it's an addiction. It's an addiction. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's how it is. Um... These are some of the reasons why I trailer my bike, why I will um, not make all the events, but I can only pick what's kind of like on the East Coast a lot of the times. <clears throat> it's a competitive, competitive game out there, um, you know, and you want to make those events, but when you only got, you know, two days off a week, hey, how are we going to do this, you know? It's expensive. It's expensive on top of that, so more and more. One more this year. I'll be I'll be getting out there. I just miss I just missed a ride to Jacksonville. I really should have went, but I felt like trash. I was like, nah, I ain't going. I'm not going. But guys, I'm about to shut her down. I'm about to shut her down. Uh, Troy, what's up, Troy? Troy say he's gonna be in uh, Kings of the South in July. That's a, that thing is crazy. Um, the city, okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not exaggerating this guys. The city is motorcycle friendly. Like Daytona. Um you gotta be careful with the Atlanta drivers and the traffic and things like that. But there's gonna be bikes everywhere. There'll be things to do everywhere. If you like to do this type of thing, there's stuff here. If you like to do this type of stuff, there's stuff over here. There's there's it just has to be your crowd. It's my crowd. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, so. Uh, hey, Chauncey, I hope everything's good. I hope your bike gets taken care of. I hope even if you have to go get yourself a brand new 24, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, um, what's a 21 revival? But, yeah, guys, I'm going to shut it down right here. I'm going to go get myself some rest. I got to go to work. Next time, guys. Peace.